Okay, so here are the three big stories for today. The first one is kind of interesting in that uh, I predicted that this was going to be the case, but it's not just this. Um, so the head of the Russian Orthodox Church was just officially banned. And this isn't the whole story, but there was a story in Foreign Policy magazine about uh, civil rights in Ukraine and banning the or uh, condemning and uh, putting on a wanted list the head of uh, the Russian Orthodox Church or banning the Russian Orthodox Church or doing other things like uh, eliminating Russia officially uh, from what's going to be on TV and those kind of things are really not a good look for Ukraine as far as civil rights go. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think, I mean, you're in martial law right now, but there are going to be, there's going to be pushback against that kind of thing. Second story is unrelated to that. Germany is now spending $400 million to buy artillery shells. Hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands at least, hundreds of thousands it looks like of artillery shells they're going to be purchasing from I believe a French company in order to get it to the battlefield. So good on Germany with that. Third story is uh, what's going on in the Senate. Um, they're not making a whole lot of progress between the House and the Senate. Uh, well, not the House and the Senate, the Senate, the three, the, the Democrat, the Independent, the Republican that are closed door meeting. They're not really getting the traction that you would hope that they would get. Fourth story, because there's a bonus here. There was a Time Magazine article, and I think they're hitting the nail exactly on the head. The Biden administration was giving a very slow yes to Ukraine. And I think that's going to be, when this is all said and done, the story of the war in Ukraine is that we said yes, but we said yes way too slow. And so uh, the first excuse was, well, we don't want to give weapons because it's going to fall into the hands when Ukraine collapses. And then they had a great comeback and it was like, wow, they can actually stand and fight. Oh, we don't want to trip over a red line. That's we don't we don't want to do that. And so Putin essentially deterred the United States for way too long. But by the time they're getting it, now it's going to be a long protect, protracted war. So those are the four big stories, not three big stories for today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.